Shouldn't you be helping your brother salvage the shipwreck? I don't think he wants my help. Oh, this is the worst day I've had in forever. So he always says I'm stupid and clumsy. Okay. Well, by stupid and clumsy. Hello, my lords and ladies. I'm Pitch Doc, and welcome back to Outward. So, this is episode two, and uh, we are back in Cerzo after being rescued from our, our shipwreck. Um, kind of funny there's a ship like wrecked right there. I don't think that's the same one, though. Um, but yeah, so we came back and we discovered that um, we owe four months to, uh, to the tribe. So, if we don't earn 150 silver or a tribal favor, they will take our home. So, we need to do that. Seems like we're not very liked uh, very much in this uh, this tribe because something my grandmother did, but uh, we'll have to deal with that, I guess. So this is o Oliel. Uh, this is one of our childhood friends growing up. I'm going to talk to her. I'm glad you survived the wreck. I'm sorry about your losses. I know how much you were counting on this expedition. That glowing sword is new. When did you get it? Rufus commissioned it for me as a going away present. I was going to leave this morning to go to the, to join the holy mission in, of Elot before Mother could stop me. But with the shipwreck, it wouldn't be right to leave so soon. I have to stay with the tribe until the morning period is over. Okay, um... Do, 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 uh, I can't imagine your mother will let you go without another lecture. I know. Risa has already promised me that she and I will be having a long talk. I bet she will. I hope she convinces you. Uh, I miss you if you leave. I know. I'll miss you and Izan too. But this is the path I choose to walk. I'm done letting Risa decide my life. I want to be part of a greater good, not rule over people. Farewell, my friend. Go now. We both have work to do for the CSO's sake. Okay, so she's, uh, yeah, I guess she's thinking about leaving. That is a really cool looking sword. Love to get my hands on one of those. Um, so we're going to just look around. I, I did notice with, with the play, uh, some of the playing I've done, is that you can, like this, you can find stuff like everywhere. Um, so we're going to take that. And each weapon has a different, unique fighting style. So, like, Use a staff, okay. Um, so there's different things. There's like you know, there's spares. There's um, um, like a staff. There's there's all different types of weapons. So depending on what you want to do, um, you know, there's there's a different style for everybody. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick with a single uh, weapon, um, sword or mace. I'm not quite sure which one yet. Uh, but on a half hand, um, you can do like I can do. A knife as an offhand. Um, all right, so I could do that as long as I have a special oops, special ability uh, to use that, which I happen to do for this one, uh, I think. Yeah, so dagger slash requires a dagger, simple attack. So we could do that, but what I think I'm going to do is this. I'm going to I'm going to try using a pistol in this. So I'm going to be like a pirate, like a female pirate. That would be cool. So yeah. That, that's my plan. Uh, I don't know how well that's going to work. It, it'd probably be a female pirate with some magic, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to... I probably shouldn't grab a bunch of food. That stuff does grow back, though, which is cool. So if we ever need food... Uh, food is not really that hard to come by. Um, the survival aspects so far that I've experienced haven't been so hard or demanding. Um... You know, so but I haven't been I haven't been through any changes of seasons. I really can't really comment on that. Uh, I've only played like an hour or, or so. You know, I've it's one of those it's one of those games where I I, I got really frustrated with. Um, so it's going to be an interesting playthrough. It, it, it's like it, it, it's weird. It's like I get frustrated with the game and I, I get mad at it, but at the same sense, I just. I couldn't stop playing it. That's why I'm like, you know, I get, I have to, I have to do a series on it because I don't want to, I don't want to go through too much of it. And, um, yeah, I want to, I want to document the whole thing. So 
Here we go. <laughs> Should be fun. Um, I found this last time, and apparently you're allowed to take anything you want out of here. Uh, Dark Nobleman. I never found this before. This is what's cool, is that stuff changes. So this is probably like my third character. I tried different things, um, and each time this is different. Look at that. All right, cool. So our, our bag's already overweight because we, we do have to sell stuff here. So probably should have done that. You know what we're going to do? We're going to break some of this down. Because um, I know we're going to get the travel favor, so we don't have to come up with the money. Um, so I'm just going to break this stuff down. There we go. That should help. Yeah, that, no. Yeah, it helped a little bit. Uh, let's check out that hat, though. That was pretty cool. Um, where'd it go? Did I take it? I didn't break that down, did I? It says it's empty. Hold on. Is it in my inventory? It is. Okay, I, I, don't, I just didn't see it before. Uh, let's see. So, actually, the resistance isn't as good, but the impact resistant is... Great hot weather defense and less stamina cost. That's what it looks like. <laughs> this is the best part. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I like that. All right. I'm keeping it. I wish I could dye like, the colors of my clothes so I can make this red too. But you know, maybe we'll find something to match it. That's pretty awesome. So that's what I mean. Like, Even though like the face on these characters sometimes looked a little jacked. Um... It's, it doesn't matter because you get pretty much covered up anyways. Um, there are mods for this as well. So uh, I was thinking about maybe doing a series on mods. I'm not going to use mods. Um, not, not until I've, I've played through at least the main, the main quest. Um, most of the mods I've seen have been like, you know, you know fast travel, which um, you can't do in this game. Um... Things like map markers, like so, like you look at your map, you're not you're not on the map anywhere. So there's one for that. You know, I think part of the charm of the game is really being immersed in, you know, having to figure this stuff out and and really work at it. And like, you know, if you look if you look at a map in real life, you're not going to see a, a map marker for yourself. So, uh, but I think after you know after a playthrough, you know. Maybe some of these mods would make sense because I'm not going to want to run through an area I've been through so many times before when I can just fast travel through it. Um, but yeah, I mean, if, you, if you'd if you be interested in seeing mods, um, let me know. I'll do a separate series on that. Would love to do that. Uh, all right, we're going to talk to Helen Turnbull. Greetings, friend. Greetings to you, friend. Um, I may have something for you. I'm here for about work. Lend me your ear. Okay. Uh, what do you need? I'm looking for something to do that I can do nearby. As a matter of fact, I could use a brush explorer for something. All right, maybe I can find one around here, but how about me for, for now? Uh, if the pay's good, I'm willing to put my life in danger. Yeah, I don't know about that. Is what I need. All right, so I'm looking for a particular rare mushroom in the shape of a shield. It grows near Blister Burrow, northeast, northeast of Sirzo. You'll okay. know it if you find it. All right. Uh, the primary characteristics are immersive size, of immense size, and red color. Bring me the mushroom, and I'll pay you 70 silver for it. Um, yeah, okay. Sounds like an adventure. I'll do it. Perfect. Make sure you have a good weapon, a lantern, and plenty of supplies. It's a dangerous cave, and you'll be putting your life, in, your life on the line. Don't forget, the trogs have poor eyesight, but fantastic hearing. Okay. Lend me your ear. So another thing, uh, a little tip on this game is that, so like she's telling me where to go. Okay, now I've 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 already I actually already know what this is, but to get to Blustabaro, head out of Cerzo's main gate, then follow the road to the left. When you get to another fork in the road at the wooden gate, turn left again. Okay, you'll know you're going the right way when you see crude statues made by the Trigolites. All right, you're not going to get that in a quest in, in your quest description. Um, okay, uh, all right, 
Thanks for the chat. I'll see you. All right. So if we look at our journal. Okay. Um, so it's a minor quest. Get the mushroom. It doesn't give us any of that detail that she gave us. So I believe you can talk to her Greetings, again. Greetings, friend. And you can talk and she'll. Lend me your ear. She'll As go through it again. As a matter of fact, so you, you I can, could use a brush explorer for something. You can go through Here's it again if need. you forget what she said. You'll know it if you find it. So you can do it, but I, I recommend just writing it down so you don't have to do that again um, because it's, you know, just be easier. Perfect. Lend me your ear. Go through it all. Ba, 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 ba. De, 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 de. Okay, thanks for the chat. I'll see you. Okay. So, yeah. So a lot of these quests, you know, you, you can get it again. You know, you can get the descriptions again, but it's not going to be in your journal. So, you know, I like that. I, I like that you have to, you know, remember to do stuff like that. Um, I think there's something over here, if I remember correctly. Yep. So pitchfork. So that that's a weapon, too. You can use that. Um Like I said, all this stuff we can break down, so I can break that down if I wanted to. I'll get get iron scrap out of it. But we're gonna sell this stuff to this guy right here. He's like a traveling merchant. Greetings, friend. Greetings to you. I want to buy something. Actually, I want to sell something. Um, so since we are keeping the machete for now. Uh, I'm going to sell the axe. Now, the axe isn't good for wood chopping or anything like that. Uh, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, we're going to keep the fishing pole because we, we can catch fish with it. Um, I'm going to sell that. I'm going to keep this one, though. I'll sell that one. That's about it. Okay. Confirm. So now we got 43 silver. Not bad. Not bad for, you know, we didn't even leave the village. These chickens, I don't know what they're actually called. I can't remember, but these things are a pain in the ass in the wild to fight. All right. Look, another machete over here. And this is our good friend, Yazan. Yazan. I wish I could greet you with a smile, but, well. We both know that won't happen. Elite's breath, what a disaster. How are you holding up? Yesterday, I was leading our most ambitious expedition in a decade. Now, all that's left is this wreck and a tribe in mourning. I'm holding up to much better than you are. Uh, what happened? How did our ship sink so close to home? The lighthouse wasn't lit at the time we made impact with the rocks. I'm certain. Hmm. Well, that would do it, huh? Uh, I remember thinking that we should have seen it by now, right before we hit the rocks. We lost everyone who was below the deck at the time of the accident. Yeah, move it so you can see his face. Uh, no, that sucks. Uh, half the ship came apart before I was able to run aground. So we lost everything. All the coin, spices, armor, and weapons. Unfortunately, yes. What little we could salvage from the wreck has gone to the families of my drowned men. My finances are reeling from this loss. I have barely enough left to start over still we have no right to complain all we lost is some coin in four months of time on this failed journey my sailors lost their lives that's very true um all right yeah so of course their families need all the help they can get right now kind as ever your parents will be proud thank you um even struggling with your own problems you still open up your heart to those in need your parents will be proud the blood price on your head is disgusting. It certainly You weren't is. even born when that tragedy happened. Yeah, what tragedy is this, though? No one's telling me anything. Um, I welcome the challenge. Besides, it's an excuse to get out of here and find adventure. More like find an early grave and lose a leg. Like you, I see. <laughs> what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. My prosthetic arm and leg are a testament of how... Stupid that sentiment is. Suffering doesn't help anyone. I often wonder if we're alive because of our tribal laws or in spite of them. That's very true. I mean, you, you never, I mean, probably because of them. 
I'm sorry I don't have better news. Best of luck with squaring things with Risa in the short term. Thank you. Um, I guess I am truly on my own then. Actually, I do have a small stash of goods I hid in case of disaster. I hid it near the old shipwreck to the south. When you open it, remember the moon commands the stars. You'll know what I mean. Okay, so I, I have written this down previously. Um, never found this, so this is something that we're going to search for. Remember, you're not just a link in a chain. You're worth more than the blood in your veins. Why, thank you, Yazan. I appreciate that, my friend. And farewell to thee. And uh, think of me when I venture out and face certain death. Okay, let's go. All right, so you can see down the bottom left, we're thirsty. So over here is a um, very cool looking device that actually takes water. I think it takes seawater and filters it into fresh water. Um, so over here, we can get a water skin. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna fill that up. And then if I press and hold the F, we're gonna drink. So we're good, we're no longer thirsty. Um, yeah, so this is pretty cool. What would that say? Oh, gather fish. Oh, we can gather fish. So because we have the fishing pole, or the, whatever you want to call it, fishing spare. There we go. We got azure shrimp and some seaweed. Cool. And we get another fishing harpoon. That's what it's called. A harpoon. And we can get... Oh, yeah. So one of the things I've... I've discovered so you can gather sea water and sea salt salt water and i was like why why would i want to do that for and one of the loading screens that comes up and i i might keep some of those in during the recordings um depending on how long it takes i'll edit the edit them out but um it gives you good tips and one of the tips was if if i boil that i get fresh water and i get salt so it's like there's there's just so many different things you can do um with with the items that you find so i guess i guess the moral of the story is never rule anything out because i'm always like salt water well, i can't drink that that would be bad for me um all right we're gonna take all that we're getting over the limit again so i'm going to um break some of this down uh take that one and um tattered boots and what we'll do too is now we'll make some bandages. We're gonna need a lot of bandages, trust me. But the way I do things, yeah, it's it's inevitable. Uh, we still kind of still got a lot. Let's see, can we sell to this guy? Greetings, friend. I want to buy something? I think we can pretty much sell anything to anyone. Um, and I've noticed too, like the prices seem to always be the same no matter what vendor you choose. So you don't have to worry about selling this to the general merchant because you might get eight silver versus six. So that's always good. Uh, I think I want to keep everything else though. So we'll do that. All right. No, we're not so bad. Time to get dark out, so let's bring out our little lantern. If that worked, there we go. And who are you? Roland. Oh, That's right. What brings you here? How's my brother doing? Uh, well, your hands alive. That's more than I can say for most people. I'm going to just make up my own words because that's what they're doing. Uh, that, that's more than most of the other people on our exp expedition can say. Yeah, shame about the shipwreck. Uh, accidents like this happen all the time. Um, not if the lighthouse is lit. Who was on duty that night? Not a clue. It wasn't me, though. That's for sure. Okay. Um, shouldn't you be helping your brother salvage the shipwreck? I don't think he wants my help. Oh, this is the worst day I've had in forever. So he always says I'm stupid and clumsy. Okay. Well, by stupid and clumsy. OK, 
Okay, and over here, yeah, there's a shield here. Now, the thing I've noticed with blocking is that, uh, and I think I said this in the last video, is that when I block something, no matter what weapon I use, it's it blocks 100% of damage, right? But what it doesn't do is, um, what you got to watch is your, your impact resistance. So if I take this, all right, now my impact resistance will go up. Okay, so these are my stats. Now, stats are given to you by whatever you're wearing and what weapons you're using. Um, so my impact resistance, I forget which one it is, but oh, right here. Um, so you can see impact resistance will go up by 10 by using a shield. Um, so that's a good use for a shield. Um, and also it will block arrows. Um, so depending on what, you know, what you, your character, what you want your character build to be. Um, carrying shield may be a good thing for you. Um, you know, especially if you're going to be kind of, you know, kind of stand there and, and take the beatings. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to be more of an agile fighter. Moving around a lot. Um, taking hits when I can. Um, using my gun uh, to help with... Uh, you know, maybe with a final blow or um, take down impact resistance, stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, so one of the things that, that did add to our weight, and you can't sell these. I don't think you can break it down. No, so, you know, once you pick it up, either drop it or, you know, stick it in your backpack or stick it in your uh, stash. Um, so these guys are trainers right here. So um, Amber, my friend. Amber. Um, I want to train with you. So these are different, um, like skills we can learn. Um, I'm, I'm going to take this when, when we can afford it. This increases my health by 25. Um, and then this one increases our impact resistance by 15. I think both of these are probably worth taking. Um, they cost 50 silver each. Uh, I don't, if you're going to use a shield, I guess this might be good. Um. And then there's different magical attacks you can use too. They're way more expensive. So, um, you know, I'm going to hold off on, on a lot of these because I don't know what else is out there. Um, and I don't want I, I don't know if there's a limit on skills. Uh, I don't want to just like take skills I'm never going to use and then regret it later on. All right, we've got glowy things up here. All right, so we got makeshift leather hat, makeshift leather attire, and makeshift leather boots. These are recipes we can learn. Okay, and we can make these if we have the right equipment. So with two hides and a basic armor, we can make this leather attire, which is actually pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, pretty good defense for a starting type of uh, type of uh, gear. Let's get our lantern back out. So down in the town here, we have our our blacksmith here. Hello, loud hammer. What can I do for you? Uh, let's see. I don't think he has a quest for us or anything. Um, so in his right. shop, you know, sells weapons, sells armor, sells different recipes. Um, these fang weapons seem to be pretty cool. Um, I found a couple of recipes on these. I never made them. Uh, but from what I remember, they, they cause bleeding damage, which would be good. So when you injure somebody, they're still being damaged by their by bleeding out. Uh, the alchemist. Hey there. Hey. Um, I would like to talk. Is the plan. I'm running a little low on crystal powder to brew advanced potions. If you got an alchemy set of your own, make some for me, would you? Uh, I don't have one, but... Yeah, eventually. Hey, listen! You know how to make crystal power, right? Blend four mana stones in a deployed alchemy kit. Okay. Need something else? Um, no, I guess not. I'm not going to buy anything from them. So, hey, uh, oh. listen! I hit the wrong thing. Okay, not now. See ya! Bye! Alright. So that's cool. Um, the guard. Not every NPC you can talk to, as you can see. So this is kind of like the general merchant guy right here. 
shopkeeper. Is there something you need? Um, I would like to talk. Can you help with this? Are you planning on passing Berg sometime soon? Probably not. I have this ledger I need to deliver to the Pelly's General Store. You'd be paid, of course, on delivery. Uh, yeah, okay. Excellent. Thank you for sharing information to Sancho for merchants like us. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do with this guy is eventually we're going to want to buy this Nomad backpack. This is going to allow us to carry more stuff and hang our lantern on it so we don't have to hold it with our our hands. So, so yeah, something to work for. I think that's pretty much everything we need to do here. Uh, so you can see it's already nighttime. Um, so we'll head on back and store stuff we don't need. Sleep for the night and then tomorrow we're going to head out to our first adventure. Try to get that tribal favor. Hi, Risa. You're just going to hang out here, huh? Okie dokie. All right. Let's open our stash. All right. So I'm going to keep... I'm going to get rid of that and get rid of that. I'm going to keep the mining pick because the mining pick, really, really important. Um, you can find some really good materials uh, out there. Iron. You can find um, gems and stuff like that you can sell. Um, and that's how we're going to earn a lot of our silver. Uh, get rid of that. I'm not going to take the fishing harpoon. Until we have a specific reason to go out and go fishing, I'm not going to use it. Put that in there for now. Um, increase physical damage. Okay, we'll hold on to that. Um, we'll hold on to that for now. Poison. Um, to you know, help with toxins. We'll hold on to that. Put that in there. And put that in. That, that. Okay, I think we're good. Our weight's down pretty well. Okay, so I think we'll, we'll, you know, well, like I said, we'll we'll sleep for the night. We'll, you know, we'll get through the uh, through the through the night, and then when, in the morning we'll head out to earn that travel favor. One thing about sleeping in your home too is that everything recovers. So if you sleep long enough and everything, your health and your stamina will recover. Your food and water go to 100%. Uh, whether you eat, drink, I could be starving right now. It's going to go to 100%. You can set um, repairing. So like if any of our stuff needs repair, like there's a little bit of red on the end of the machete. Um, everything here is pretty new. So, oh, actually this is the machete. Uh, you see this red there. So when I sleep, I get repair for a couple hours. Let's sleep for a few more hours. Okay, now it's morning. And if I look, completely repaired. Okay, I'm um, full of health. And 100% food, 100% water, all that stuff. So, bonus for sleeping in the house. Um, you know, when you're out in the wild, it's not so much the, the case. You have to uh, figure the stuff out. There's some places that when you camp out, there was a guarding um, section because it'll tell you a percentage of being ambushed so you have to kind of weigh the options of whether or not it's a good idea to sleep or not so uh, it's pretty cool I, I, I really enjoy playing this so I'm um, looking forward to doing the next episode we will get that trouble favor next time we'll be heading out of the walls and things will get a lot more action uh, oriented I hope so I do thank you for watching please remember to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and remember as always I'll see you next time